Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. I am so excited that you stopped by today because I have some very exciting, fun to me items to share with you which have been passed down to me from my mother. Now this past week I did not get to the thrift store but that's okay because mom has got me covered this week. She is actually downsizing from the house that she's lived in for ever it seems like down into a apartment which will be much much easier for her to maintain and you know deal with um so we're very excited for her she's pretty excited about it too so this past weekend my sister and i went down and we spent a day like packing stuff up and getting her ready to move and today is the first day that we're going to start moving stuff in we kind of have like two moving dates so today is one of the days and then in a couple weeks we'll move the rest of her stuff in and she plans to be out by September 1st of the house. So anyways, all that being said, she sent up a whole bunch of stuff for me and my sister. Um, and some of the things are very exciting to me because they're like items from my childhood and things that I remember. And then other things are just really cool things that I have had my eye on for a while. So that is what I'm going to share with you today. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Um, because I've got a lot to share with you. So the first thing mom sent me was something that was actually her mother's and it is a little Christmas decoration. Um, it is this right here and I just think it is so cute. It's like a little chimney. It says Merry Christmas on it. It's got a cute little um, mouse on the top with some little candles, that sort of thing. And then it has, it's like a little mobile sort of thing. It's got a Christmas tree, a little rocker, some stockings, a little soldier, and then like a little jack-in-the-box over here. So I don't know. I thought this would look really cute. Um, I love vintage Christmas items anyways. And I thought this was so adorable. So of course, I was like, yes, I will take that for sure. So I thought that I'm very excited about this. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it or how I'm going to use it. But I think it is adorable. The next thing that I picked up was a flag. Now this thing, they were going to get rid of it in the way that you're supposed to. Um, because it is very frayed towards the end. It's an American flag and you can see it's very frayed on one end. But the other side of the, of the flag, like where the stars are, I can't figure out where the end is here. Here we go. It's in really good condition still. So I don't know. I just couldn't bear to get, let rid of, get rid of this because it's like a hand-sewn flag. Like this thing has been around forever. It doesn't have any tags on it anymore that I can read oh wait here's one 100 percent cotton bunting valley forge flag company incorporated i don't know i don't know much about like vintage flags or not but it is weathered it is old and it is frayed on the bottom but i thought i could maybe like hem it up a little bit because it's a really big flag i don't know if you can see but it's like huge it's huge. But anyways, so I sort of like snuck it out of the pile. <laughs> and I think what I'm going to try to do is like, um, I don't know, hem up the, the frayed part and maybe be able to use it some way. I don't know how exactly. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. But if anything, I could use it to make something out of it. And I just think it is really cool. So I had to save that one. She did have another one, which is a much worse shape and they're both flags that she has flown in her yard so i think that's pretty cool so anyways so anyways i was very excited to sneakily sneak that flag out of there because <laughs> i thought it was awesome so i could bear for it to like be destroyed so i was very excited about that <laughs> so anyways the next thing i picked up was a blanket and this it's just a basic blanket like this i think they call them it's not wool, but it's cotton. Um, and this thing is actually, I think it's an army blanket that my dad had when he was in the army. And I just love it because it's simple white. And then it's got these little stripes here on the, on the front. And it says one of those blankets that I've always loved. And I was like, oh, you're going to get rid of it? I will definitely take that off your hands, mom. So this plague was, you know, been around forever since I was a little kid, I believe. And yeah, I just remember it always being in mom's house. So that was very exciting for me. <laughs> All right, so the next thing, this is so adorable, is actually, we can't decide if it was my dress or if it was my sister's, but 
we probably both wore it. Um, so I ended up with it because she's not exactly into clothes. But it's this cute little mint green jacket. It's got this cute little um, lace along the edges. And then underneath it has a little dress. It needs to be washed up. But it's got this cute little embroidery on it. And it's like in a real pale blue color. Which is super adorable. And then of course there is the little bonnet that goes with the little jacket which I think is so cute so I will probably hang this on the wall somewhere down in my craft area which I'd like to redo and redo like the gallery wall kind of thing and I think this is one of the things that I'm going to add to that so I'm very excited about that and I just think it's so cute and I have a few other little clothes items too um, you know it's hard to know what to keep and what to get rid of but so I kept one thing for myself one thing that was my sister's and one thing that was my brother's. And the first one that I picked up for my brother was this cute little onesie outfit right here. And it's little Superman, which I think is so adorable. He's like stopping a train there. And it's got the little shorts that go with it. So I just thought that was super adorable. And that's like something that I will remember. And then the other thing I picked up, this one was my sister's. And it's a cute little dress that she used to wear cute little floral dress and then has this little pinafore I think it's called over the top of it which has this cute little flowers on it and a little edging so that is adorable and I'm hoping that like when she gets older her daughter will want this or something like that so that is cute and then I have one more piece of clothing which was mine that my mom made for me um that matched my sister's so it's this little shirt right here which was all the rage back then. It's got the little ruffles on the side, a long sleeve, a little ruffle on the end. And these were part of our Christmas outfits for that year. My mom made a shirt like this for myself and my sister. And then for my brother, she made him a little vest and bow tie out of this fabric as well. So this is, and we have a picture of all of us together wearing these. And I don't know, this is just like the one um, outfit that I remember distinctly as a child so I just had to keep this one for sure <laughs> that will be added to my memory box of things and I think it's cool because mom made it for me so <laughs> all right so that's the last, last of the clothing although this next item is kind of like a clothing item it is a little purse I don't know how vintage it is but I'm assuming I can't remember if it was mom's purse or if it was her mother's purse but it's just a simple white little clutch purse and it has the white chain on it so basically I picked this up for my daughters um, one of them already has, has a little small collection of vintage handbags so I thought this would be perfect for that to add to that and this one you know has a little bit more sentimental value to it because it was from grandma <laughs> All right, so the next item I picked up was this right here, which I don't know if I'll ever use, but it is a donut maker, and it is still in its original box, which is very cool, and I don't know if we can, there it is, still wrapped up in its plastic and everything, um, and this was actually my grandmother's. Um, Mom's like, I don't know why I kept it, I've never used it ever. But I was like, you cannot get rid of this now. I will take it to my house <laughs> and we will keep it in the family. So, um, yeah, so I just had to pick that up. I love the box. The box is so cool. Look at that. So neat. All right. So moving on from there, I did pick up a few of the toys that she had um, that reminded me a lot of my childhood. And the first one being the Fisher Price Schoolhouse. Do you guys remember this? Oh my goodness, this was, you, we played with this all the time when I was a kid. It opens up like this. Now this is not the original one that we had as a kid, but she picked this one up when my kids were very little for them to play with at, my, at her house. And this is exactly the same as the one that we had, like the same era. I know that they remake these now, but this is definitely a vintage one. I want to say... It says 71 Fisher Price Toys on it. So yeah, that would be about the same time and the same exact one that I had when I was a kid. We had this and then we had the little camping set for sure. So I was very excited about that. Um, I claimed that years ago. 
<laughs> as a um, thing. And then the other thing that we also picked up was, of course, the little truck that has the little camper on the end. My daughter has the camper right now in her room, but has the little camper, the little fish, Fisher Price camper truck, which is super cool. Again, we play with this all the time. We have a whole box here of like a little swing set that goes with the school. Got all the little people and the little, you know, the little desk. A whole big thing, a whole big box, as you can see, of those. And then we even have a couple of the little, we have the cow that goes with the barn. We used to have the barn too, but we don't have that anymore. <laughs> so we kept that. So that is the things that I picked up. And I will pack those away for the grandchildren. Also, I don't know if you... This is something that my brother would play with too all the time. And he's not interested in this sort of thing. So I'm like, I'm going to pick these up for you. And they are the little Playmobil guys. I have a whole box, a bag of these right here. Of the little Playmobil figurines. There's a horse and there's a, like this little canoe. So yeah, I don't know if I'll ever do anything with any of them, but I thought they were really cute. So I was, and I remember my kids playing with them and I remember myself playing with stuff just like this. So I of course I had to get that. And then I also picked up this little horse right here. It's like a Scandinavian horse. I've had my eye on this for quite a few years as well. Um, I just love these. I think they are so cool. So I picked it up. I think he's missing his tail, but I don't really care. So he's a really cute guy. So I picked that up as well. And then I picked up a stack of books as well. Um, you know, just your basic ones. Let's see, we've got Bambi. People you see, I don't remember that one so much. Lady and the Tramp. Um, Danny and the Dinosaur, this was big for my kids. Oh, these are all books that Grandma would sit and read to the kids when they were little. So I thought these were definitely something to keep. And then, of course, we were going through her bookcase. And we came across my absolute favorite book of all time when I was a kid. I don't know why I loved it so much. I just did. And it is how, how Joe the Bear met Sam the Mouse. And I cannot believe that she still has this book. It is in really rough condition, as in it's in three pieces. There's the back and the front and the pages. So I'm going to try to put it together a little bit and definitely do something with these. At least the front of it It'll probably be in my gallery wall downstairs in my um, studio space. But I... I cannot believe this, that she still had it. I've actually been looking for this book, like on Etsy and uh, you know, places like that, eBay, where people buy or sell like vintage old children's books. I've been looking for years for this book, and lo and behold, mom had it on her bookshelf at home, and I had no idea. So, I'm so excited about this book. Anyways, so, so that is what I brought home. I think I brought home a few other random little things too, but they have since been absorbed into the household by various members of the family so I can't share them with you but yeah all right so those are the finds that I have for this week thanks to my wonderful mother and now it is time to share with you photos that have been sent in to me from my viewers to share with you what they have found this last week to get started today Lucy found this enamelware pot from the 60s I think it's absolutely beautiful with those bright colored flowers she also found this hutch at a landfill when she went with her husband for free, and it looks practically brand new. What a score! Sandra found these delightful items. It looks like there are two milk glass um, cups, a print with ships on it, and that box there, I think those are vintage candle holders for like the Christmas tree. Then it looks like there's a small white pitcher, a crystal candle holder, two napkins possibly or handkerchiefs a table runner two circle um, picture frames with flowers in it looks like 
Below those are two items. There's a white one and a pale blue one. I'm not quite sure what those are. Maybe candle holders. And then off to the side, it looks like two decorating books. Sandra also found these two picnic baskets. She also found two very unique shelves. I think they are so cool. I'm not sure if they're made of wood or metal, but they're very nice. And she also found this bright red table, which I think is awesome. Deborah found this beautiful patchwork quilt, and it looks like there's a pillow sham as well, for $6. What a score. I think it's just beautiful. And oh my goodness, look at this vintage bear cookie jar found by Janet for $7. This is so cute. Charlotte found this three-piece um, cream and sugar set for $5. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the sparkle and it's such a great hostess item to have on hand. Ruby found this lovely print for $0.99, cents, and the store sticker on the back was listed at $24.99, so that is a steal. Joanne found this art pottery cheese or butter dish for $2.97. I love the colors. And she also picked up this brown transferware dinner plate for $1.97. I think that is a very pretty design. And finally today, Peggy Ann found this amazing table for $15 at a yard sale. She also found the Silver Shetfield Cocoa Pot for $1.99, the Bone Churn of Flowers for $0.99. Cents. She also picked up the Silver Bud Face for $0.50 cents and the Silver Shot Glass for $0.99, cents, along with the Staffordshire Dog for $3, which I am in love with. And don't forget the bird decoy towards the back for $1.99. And then finally, in the middle there, is a vegetable dish, which she picked up for $1.99. At the resource store, she found this painting for $9.99. And oh my goodness, it is amazing. I love the cows in the pasture. That's awesome. But the frame and how it's distressed makes it even better. All right, so once again, you guys are finding some amazing items, and I thank you for sending in your photos, so keep those photos coming. So if you would like to submit a photo for next week's Thrift Store Thursday, check out the description box. All the instructions on how to submit a photo are there. And yeah, I guess that is it for me today. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in a photo, and thank you to all of you who have sat and watched as I walked down memory road today. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me today. And I will see you again next week for another Thrift Store Thursday. Bye now.